Dr. Heem. Special case for this type of regeneration that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. circular coordinate system so circular cylindrical coordinate system so we have here the example or the problem itself so we have given the Cartesian coordinates of point C wherein the point C is um, given by rho is equal to 0.4.4 phi is negative let's just highlight here the negative so negative 115 degrees and z is equal to 2 so that is the first part second part is give the cylindrical coordinates of point d so x is equal to negative 3.1 y is equal to 2.6 and z is equal to negative 3 and the last part of the problem specify the distance from c to d okay so we have here our solution okay so first we will go to a so we need to convert the given coordinates which is which is in cylindrical coordinates into Cartesian or rectangular coordinates. So going back to our formula, so our y is equal to rho sine phi, our x is equal to rho cosine phi, and our z is equal to z. So by inspection by the given, so we could z uh, say that our z is equal to 2. So we have here the first answer. So we just need to find our uh, y and our x. Okay, so solving for y. Okay, so, so y is equal to rho sine theta. So our rho is equal to 4.4. .4. And our theta is equals to cosine um, phi. So sorry, that is phi, not theta. So cosine negative 115 degrees. So we could say our y is equal to. So we will just call on here our handy calculator. Okay. So we have cosine. Cosine, no, no, this 4.4 cosine, okay, negative 115 degrees. Okay, and this is equal to negative 1.86. We just uh, have two decimal places for this one. Okay, so this is negative. 1.86 for our x so x equals to rho cosine phi so we have 4.4 cosine negative okay I believe this is not cosine we just okay, this is sine okay so this one will be the cosine just go back to that one and then we'll check it later so we have 115 degrees so this will be the value of our x negative 1.86 because for y this will be sine okay so we have committed an error there okay so we just call on again our calculator okay so we have so this will be sine okay so we have sine is equal to negative 3.99 okay we could have that one as negative 3.99 okay so for the Cartesian coordinate system so our d is equal to negative 1.86 
negative 3.99 and Z2. Okay, so this is now our answer for part A. For part B, so we need to convert the given Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates into cylindrical. Okay. So we'll have here another slide. Maybe we will just first. Um, okay, so it is um, blocked by our calculator. So this is the answer. Okay, for maybe I just blocked that one. Um, by writing that one uh, earlier. Okay, so we will now go to part B. Okay, so the given is D. So we have x is equals to 3.1 y is equal to 2.6 and z is equal to negative 3 of course we need to convert this one into its equivalent cylindrical coordinate system so we will find we need to find our rho our phi and our z which it is already given which is negative 3 so we need now to find the rho and the phi okay so we know that rho i oh know that um that our um x is equals to rho cosine theta and our y uh, cosine phi is equals to rho sine phi so if we're going to have a graph of the uh, a, a representation of this formula using trigonometry okay so this will be our x so if this is our phi this will be our y okay because y is sine theta so that is opposite of our angle x is cosine theta that's that will be adjacent to our angle and our row will be this one so by Pythagorean theorem, we could say that rho is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared and substituting the given. So we have 3.1 squared plus 2.6 squared. Okay, so we'll just now use our calculator. So we have square root of... 3.1 squared plus 2.6 squared so this is equal to 4.05 okay so our row is equals to 4.05 now solving for theta based also on this triangle so tangent phi so, so but I, I always saying theta but this is phi so maybe uh, i must um uh, i always do that one because on trigonometry usually we will be using the the nomenclature for the angle as theta okay so we have x over y so that is um no that is y over x y over x because that is opposite over the adjacent so we could solve for theta by arc tangent or inverse tangent y over x oh, this is equal to inverse tangent three point one no two point six two point six over three point one okay so our phi is equal to shift inverse tangent 2.6 over 3.1 this is now equal to okay so i believe our given x is negative okay okay so it is positive let's just check to the other side 
this is negative okay that is negative so this is not so this will be negative this one okay we just start from here this will be negative this is also negative of course if it will be squared so this the, the, the that will be that will still be positive but we will have for this one this will is negative okay we just call back our calculator okay so we have shift arc tangent 2.6 over negative 3.1 okay this will be equal to negative negative 39.98 okay be 39.98 98 or we could have that one as so that is 2.1 2.6 over so it will be negative this will be equal to negative 39.98 or they could have that one as negative 40 okay then we have here now our V so we could say that our D is equal to 4.05 our row is negative 40 and our Z is equal to negative 3 okay so we we'll go to now to the next part which is we could um, Clear this one out here on the calculator. The last part, which is to get the distance from C to D. So that will be the R from C to D, which is equal to vector D minus vector C. Okay, so we just use the um, for vector D, so we just use the given. So that will be negative 3.1 i hat plus 2.6 j hat so this, this will just be the unit vectors then plus uh, that will be negative 3 so it will be minus minus 3 k hat minus of 4 c we have the computed value which is negative 1.86 i hat minus 3.99 j hat and for c plus 2 k hat okay so we just have here negative 3.1 plus 1.86 i hat so because it's plus negative and negative then plus 2.6 plus 3.99 j hat we have plus negative 3 minus 2 k hat so we end up with 4.96 no, so this is plus so that will be negative 1.24 i had okay plus so this is two point so let's just have this one in our um, calculator so that we will not be um, using much time on getting this value so we have 2.6 plus 3.99 okay so we get to 6.59 so we have plus 
6.59 j hat minus 5 k hat so to get the distance so we need to get the absolute value of our rcd vector r sub cd so this is equal to so this one the square of this one the product of the square so the sum of the square square root so we have 6.59 squared minus ano, plus plus negative 5 squared okay so using again our calculator so we have square root of negative 1.24 squared plus 6.59 squared plus negative 5 squared so it will be equal to okay 6.59 negative 5 Okay, so we have 8.18. Okay. So our answer is 8.18 units. So this is the answer for the third part of our problem. So I hope you learned something from this video and as always, enjoy learning.